Hi, my name is Nicole Brackett. I'm a postdoc at Indoor Biotechnologies. Thank you for attending my presentation entitled The Major Cat Allergen Feldy one is a viable target for CRISPR gene editing. I want to thank my colleagues at Indoor as well as the meeting organizers for the opportunity to share my work. Domestic cat is the most common source of inhaled allergen derived from mammals with cat allergy affecting more than 10% of the population and being strongly associated with asthma. The major cat allergen, FLD1, causes IgE sensitization in nearly 95% of cat aller allergic patients and accounts for 60 to 90% of anti-cat IgE. The FLD1 structure is depicted below. The molecule on the left is a fusion of the FLD1 monomers chain one in gray and chain two in pink that form a heterodimer in the natural allergen. The equivalent molecule is shown on the right from the N-terminus in blue to the C-terminus in red. Unfortunately, most current treatments for cat allergy merely address the allergic symptoms or have demonstrated marginal success. However, new treatment approaches have been developed with the aim to reduce FLD1 exposure. One group introduced anti-FLD1 polyclonal egg IGY antibody into cat food to reduce the levels of FLD1 in the cat saliva. They observed a 47% reduction in FLD1 deposited on the cat's hair coats from saliva compared to baseline. Another group immunized cats with a vaccine against FLD1, which resulted in a 50% reduction of FLD1 measured in cat tear extracts. Given that FLD1 may accumulate at levels exceeding 1,000 micrograms of FLD1 per gram of house dust, a modest reduction in FLD1 may not significantly alleviate patient symptoms. Our proposed solution is to use CRISPR gene editing to delete FLD1 from cat cells and tissues and to ultimately generate FLD1-free cats. Shown here is a schematic of our methods. Genomic DNA was extracted from cat tissue samples to sequence the genes encoding FLD1 chains 1 and 2. The sequences were then analyzed and conserved regions in the genes were selected as CRISPR targets. CRISPR guide RNAs with sequences complementary to the FLD1 targets were identified and CRISPR guide RNA Cas9 complexes were delivered to cultured cat cells using lipid-based transfection. Successful CRISPR editing of FLD1 was assessed by two methods, T7E1 mismatch detection and DNA sequence decomposition. The sequence analysis of FLD1 chains 1 and 2 for more than 50 cats identified 30 unique amino acid substitutions ranging in frequency from 2 to 98%, which resulted in FLD1 polymorphisms with 92 to 99% identity. In addition, at least 16 novel natural FLD1 variants were predicted and multiple conserved regions in the gene suitable for CRISPR editing were revealed. And FLD1 specific CRISPR guides, C1G1 through C1G6 for chain 1 and C2G1 through C2G4 for chain 2, were evaluated. DNA sequence decomposition found CRISPR editing efficiencies of up to 55%, while T7E1 mismatch detection showed editing efficiencies ranging from 5 to 45%, which is shown in the bar graph. Two guides, C1G1 and C2G1, were found to be quite efficient at nearly 55%. The T71 assay likely underestimated the editing efficiency of guide C2G1 due to low variability in its distribution of indels or insertion deletions, which is shown in the pie chart to the right. By contrast, guide C1G1 showed a much greater distribution of indels, and the T7E1 results for C1G1, which is shown in the gel on the left, were comparable to the sequence analysis results. A preliminary T71 analysis of predicted potential off-target cleavage sites found no evidence of off-target CRISPR editing due to guide C1G1 or C2G1, which is depicted in the gel on the right. Taken together, our results have demonstrated that the major cat allergen FLD1 is a viable target for CRISPR gene editing. Additionally, our work suggests that CRISPR-Cas9 will be a valuable tool for editing FLD1 in cats, which may benefit cat allergic patients by removing the major allergen at the source and thus alleviating patient symptoms. In the near future, the FLD1 guides will be tested in primary feline cells to confirm protein expression knockout. From there, the most efficient guides will be used in future in vivo studies for the targeted deletion of FLD1 in cats. Additionally, the CRISPR knockout work will provide more definitive evidence regarding the precise biological function of FLD1, which is suggested to play a role in chemical communication or epithelium defense based on the results of studies in homologous proteins. We also hope to learn more about the evolution of the major cat allergen by expanding the sequence analysis to include more domestic cats as well as big and wild cats. Our preliminary analysis of 24 big and wild cats representing eight felid species has found feld one like protein sequences with 81 to 98% identity compared to the feld one reference sequences. And with that, I wanna thank you again for watching my presentation and I hope you enjoy the rest of the meeting.